The Greek theater has, in the past several years, become a popular venue with many bands, but probably none more so than with the Grateful Dead. Its picturesque location, intimate setting, and outstanding natural acoustics have all played a part, but there seems to be an indescribable element of ambiance that sets the Greek apart from nearly every other place the dead play. The first run of shows played by the dead here in September 1981 were an instant success. Three show runs have followed roughly annually since then, making the Greek a highly anticipated event, rivaling even the New Year's shows. Among unique features of the Greek theater shows have been the different starting times for each consecutive day, always making Friday a night show and Sunday occurring entirely in daylight. The shows at the Greek theater have nearly always been among the season's best. Even years later, people reminisce about such memorable shows as Friday the 13th, 1984, The Dark Star Encore, or the Saturday show of the first year with China Rider, Scarlet Fire, back to back. The Jerry Garcia Electric Band played here on the Sunday preceding this year's Greek Dead shows, and with that performance, one of his best in the recent past, the magic of the Greek was already firmly in place. And come Friday, July 15th, when the dead came on this stage, that magic was still readily apparent. The Friday first set started with an enormous thud from Phil and a warmly received shakedown. The momentum continued through the first set, including Queen Jane approximately and winding down solidly with Bertha. Scarlet Fire, only played once on the newly concluded summer tour, got the second set rolling in high gear. Phil seemed to lead the way and continued to do so down to the last notes of a most emotional morning dew. The Saturday show started much earlier in the day for at least Jerry and Mickey back in Golden Gate Park for a Soviet-American joint peace concert. This concert saw them make a brief but exciting appearance with Zero and Merle Saunders. This was Jerry's first live performance in Golden Gate Park since 1975. The music continued fittingly back at the Greek theater with The Music Never Stopped, which cut abruptly into sugary. Many Soviets from the joint peace concert in Golden Gate Park were guests at the Greek on Saturday. The second set, which followed a solo acoustic performance during the break by Russian singer Alexander Grotsky, featured the first new song of the weekend, Brent's lullaby, I Will Take You Home. Knocking on Heaven's Door, having been played earlier in the day by Jerry in Golden Gate Park, was repeated as an encore. Sunday, which weather-wise was one of the hottest Greek theater concerts ever, held up musically as well. Foolish Heart, sung by Jerry and one of the most promising of the new songs, made its West Coast debut early in the first set, which concluded with an inspiring Let It Grow. A potpourri of interesting material began the ten-song second set, including Bobby's new Victim or the Crime and a moving Crazy Fingers playing Uncle John's. All along the watchtower clearly stood out of the post-space lineup. Throwing stones not fade away maintained the pace all the way through to the double encore, which featured a rough but sweet blackbird into broke down palace. This year's Greek shows definitely upheld traditions established in past years. They featured consistently good playing throughout and high points that will be recalled among the year's best. 